Hopefully, this goddamn works. If this doesn't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Why don't you try talking, Jams? I am talking. <laughs> Alright, let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Why don't you try talking, James? I am talking. There we go. Okay. We're learning out of YouTube, guys. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Nintendo Talk Radio. Disregard that uh I don't even know, minute long video of me talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> um so yes, this is a live podcast where you guys can call in. We're gonna be talking about a few topics. Um, and I like to bring in some guests with me. So today I have Jams. Hey. <laughs> Jams, what's up, man? I am doing well. How about you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, so you have a YouTube channel, and mm-hmm. right now you're just doing Wii U reviews. Is it going to be anything else, or we're just doing? Um, I eventually, yeah. Okay. I have a big, I have a big video on Prap of the Rapper that's going to take yes. a long time to do. So it's going to be great. And then we have a uh, secret project that will yeah. eventually happen. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, that's all filmed. I'm just waiting on you and Bobby. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So you want just like my video capture and then like some audio? Yeah. Okay. I'll that's get all. it to you ASAP. I didn't want to bother you guys, so I just moved on. <laughs> yeah. I, I. That was my fear. Uh <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so first thing I want to talk about is the uh, insane Switch sales, um, just the numbers that came out. I think they, what is it, like a quarterly meeting or something? I don't know. A bunch of guys got into some suits and started talking yeah. fancy about Nintendo. Exactly. Um, so they released some numbers and uh, Odyssey, 9 million sold, which is crazy crazy i know this is like this is like a broken record for us <laughs> um but compared to uh breath of the wild which uh has like seven something and that's including wii u um i, I think I it's, it's less. yeah that's that's kind of weird to me the the number that i'm shocked about the most though is uh mario kart 8 deluxe has pretty much the same sales as breath of the wild yeah <laughs> Which, like, it's good to see, but at the same time, like, we're kind of promoting ports at this, like, I don't know. I don't mind the ports. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm excited for Hyrule Warriors, because I never played it. Um, I did, so. Yeah. Is it Uh, worth it? It's okay. Yeah, Yeah. it's worth it. It's just, like, I don't want to play it again. (laughs) Uh, so real quick, chat, MLB Gamer, what's up? Casper, Joey, Robert, what's up, dude? I don't think I've seen you before. Uh, Jojo, what up, what up? You didn't listen to PN Podcast. What the hell are you doing with your life? Um, oh, I did. I listened to it today. Salty Guru. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks, though, because, like, I was supposed to go to this event in uh, New York City yeah. today. And uh, we were talking about that. It was supposed to be, like, a, a Fay or Fee. I think it's Fay. Is it Fay? <laughs> Fay. <laughs> yeah. That game looks insane, and I was supposed to preview it today with Joe. And, uh, I don't know, some stuff went down. My friend, uh, had some family stuff. So unfortunately I had to skip, but it looks like I'm going to be able to get a review copy out of it. So, well, that's good then. Yeah. So jams, what do you think of these? Uh, what do you think of the sales numbers? Anything like jump out at you at all? Um, I just think it's crazy that they're doing so well. Yeah. I would, I would have never. I honestly didn't really think that they were going to outsell the Wii U in the first year, but mm-hmm. they did in the first 10 months, and that's insane. Dude. And I thought I thought that Breath of the Wild would uh, sell more. Yeah, that Mario, was kind of surprising. I guess, I guess uh, the, the younger audience is uh, eating up Mario. Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I feel like with the, with the numbers of uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um... I feel like they're going to even maybe look at other Wii U ports like, hey, maybe we can do uh, Super Mario Maker Deluxe or something like that. Yeah, but I don't know how Mario Maker would work on the Switch. Cause That's like, true. It has, yeah. Unless it's like only handheld for building, but I, I don't know. 
I wouldn't mind that, but I feel like that would be definitely a complaint of people like, oh, I have to I, go handheld. I think the best port that's going to come out this year is Hello Kitty Cruisers. Mm-hmm. That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that game is living. Like, oh, my God. At, at this point, they're like, they must be paying Nintendo. They like, have a bet with someone. Please. Yeah. Okay, seriously though, Jules, Jules Watchem is on their website for the, for the people that developed this game. The Wait, really? Yeah, and I, was, I wanted to ask him about it, but I just felt awkward. So. <laughs> what? I got a tweet at him. No way. He was on the yeah. developing team? Apparently. I don't know if it was like directly involved, but he's on the website. Wow. Huh. Go to like crew members or something. I wonder what he did. <laughs> yeah. In the about section, Jules watch him. Creative partner. <laughs> so it says it says game and design production management on handheld. So he probably didn't have anything to do with Hello Kitty Cruisers, but it's still funny. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh yes, Joey, uh Mutant Muds is really good. You picked that up, right? Gems? Um, no, I'm waiting for the physical copy. Oh okay, yeah. He kind of uh, he kind of teased that a little bit, dude. There, Tui's looking good right now. Oh yeah, dude. I want I wanted to get Chicken Wiggle, but I don't play my 3DS anymore. So yep, I'm just waiting for the Switch one now. If well, is he wait? Does he, is he doing that Kickstarter? Uh, I last time I heard he was still talking about it, but I think the latest episode um that Bobby had with Jules talked about it a little bit, but I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Yeah. So I don't know if they talk about it in more detail. But yeah, um, Chicken Wiggle is supposed to be coming out. Treasure Knots, Soccer Slammers, which looks oh, yeah. pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah. Kind of looks like Totes the Goat. I don't know if you ever played that. No. It's like uh, it's like a mobile game. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. He's just going all out. And then Zeo Drifter. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Good for you, Jules. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. He's killing it. Seriously. Switch I mean, do it. The Switch is doing wonders for indie games because I've never played indie games before the Switch. Oh, really? Yeah. I, no. I played a uh, little bit of Shovel Knight. Like, I only played, like, the mainstream ones. <laughs> like, I really didn't uh, yeah. go out of my way. But I do have some physical uh, Wii U indie games. I was thinking of doing a video on that. I feel like you would appreciate that. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's see what I have. Uh, Steam World Dig Collection, Shovel yeah. Knight, Gianna Sisters. I don't have Gianna Sisters yet. Some of those are rare. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking of doing um, all indies in like one video, but I don't know because I should spend more time on them. Yeah, they're pretty good. Like, like I, I glanced over Pokin today. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I No, but you're right though. There's not a lot to that game, especially no, the Wii not. U version. Yeah. I talked as much as I could. <laughs> Do you have the uh, Switch version? Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to beat you down. No, I, I'm so oh, bad dude. at fighting games. I'm so horrible at fighting games, but I love <laughs> them so much. Joey, you should buy Pokémon. It looks cool. I mean, especially with the DLC, it's kind of pricey for the DLC a little bit. I mean. I don't know. Two characters. The The thing is, like, Nintendo yeah. has literally made up the first ever deluxe deluxe version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. What is that about? I mean, I get it, but like, I don't know. It's give a, us the characters. I love Blastoise, though, so I don't know. I could just go for it. Yeah. And Age of Slash. Age of Slash was my favorite Gen 6 Pokemon, so. Oh, but there it you is, go. It is stupid expensive, as Joey Splat says. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, fifteen bucks. I mean, like yeah. s- people are like, "Oh, but you get all these support characters," and like, no, get out of here. Yeah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, but hey, I mean, for the people that are, because there are hardcore people into it. Like, I get it, but I don't know. Yeah. Same time, I've never met anyone that's hardcore into it, but you know. Uh, apparently, if you go online, <laughs> matches are like twenty seconds. Really? Because <laughs> like, I so played good. it. I because I did play that one online match for the video, and I beat that guy's. I beat that guy down. So I guess he just started playing. Oh damn! On the Wii U version of all things too. 
I don't know who you, dude. I'm surprised you found someone on the uh, the Tekken. That's, that's what I said, <laughs> and, he, and he killed me. Oh, my yo, gosh. that dude was probably so hyped. <laughs> I know he definitely was. Um, it was a good. It was a solid five minutes before I got someone too. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so demonic gummy says he wants to come in when we start talking about Mario Kart. So we're actually gonna be talking about Mario Kart. Let's bring this dude in. Yeah, um, let's do it. What the heck is going on? <clears throat> so, Mario Kart got announced for mobile. Oh, yeah. Uh, thoughts? What do you think about that? Hello there. Demonic, what's up, dude? Hey. So, you said you wanted to talk about Mario Kart. What do you think? Mobile. Of course. Of the mobile edition. The mobile edition, yep. I'm not too keen on it being something you'd have to pay for. Okay. But I'm more worried about the control. I don't, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Yeah. Yeah, That I don't know. Always for mobile games, that's always the thing that kind of holds me back. Um, I'm assuming it's going to... They're going to do, do something good because, like, Super Mario Run... Like, I felt like the one-touch thing, I wasn't a believer until I started playing it, and it was pretty yeah. good. Uh, Jams, do you think this could be, like, big? I made a video about it, and I, I think it could be uh, pretty damn big. It could probably be big. I mean, I'm not into mobile games at all, and we haven't seen anything about it, so I'm not going to say anything definitive, but it could be really huge because Mario Kart rocks. Yeah, but let's just say, like, the controls are spot on. There's a big character list. It's, like, free to play. There's online. You know, as long as there's dry bones in it, I'm I'm good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Demonic, do you think this could be, uh, think it could be big, or is it going to be kind of like pocket camp? Not, not too big. If they can nail the controls, I'm pretty sure it can get out there. It can get pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. They need to bring dry bones into it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dry bones. Hey, we got some dry they bones. Brought, they brought them back for deluxe, and I was super happy. <laughs> <laughs> so my thing about this game is this game needs to be free, like for it to, I think, get off the ground. Um, yeah. And you could do different things. Like in the video that I made, I was like, oh, maybe you get like five race tickets a day, and it costs like one race ticket to race or something. And then you could buy more, or like buy like an endless, I don't know. But yeah. what are the chances we see something free or something like Mario Run? Um, no, it's definitely going to be free because they're definitely over the Mario Run model. Yeah. 100%. Demonic, did you get Mario Run? Yes, I did. Ooh. Yeah. I actually like that model a lot because... You're paying nine ninety nine, and you're not like there's no microtransactions. It's like the whole game. I don't mind. Like it's a Nintendo game. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Too bad everybody else doesn't <laughs> agree with you. <laughs> I mean, they let you play the demo, which I felt like yeah. was good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's bring Joey in here. Joey, you ready? Joey. I just surprised Joey. everyone. Yeah. Joey. Yo 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 yo. Yo. Talk to me about this Mario Kart boy. Joey. I don't know really what to say about it. <laughs> I think everything's been covered. Yeah, it's true. Like, it's the controls for me. No mobile racing game has been good. Just name you one. Yeah, I that's... can't because I've never played any. That's a good point. <laughs> exactly. Actually, um... Uh, Riptide Renegade, which is on the Switch, and uh, Beach Buggy Cruisers, <laughs> which is on the Switch, <laughs> is also on mobile. I don't know how the controls are, but exactly, if... it takes the Switch to make it good. That's <laughs> that's you know what you're true, but there <laughs> there are some people saying that this isn't even going to be a racing game. Like some people are like, oh, this is going to be a turn based. Like no, this needs to be a racing oh, game. That sounds stupid. Yeah, that I was listening to the Nintendo Tads today, and they were talking about that. I feel like how to piss off millions of Nintendo fans, <laughs> make make Mario Kart not a racing game. Like that would be. Yeah. They idea. just need they just need to make a Switch Mario Kart 
a new one. Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, I can see them bringing balloon battle to it. Yeah. No. That's, maybe maybe it's just the battle mode. <laughs> battle, uh, battle mode sucks though. You don't like yeah. battle mode? I I've, remember. Ne I've never ever played battle mode on Mario Kart DX apart from like once or twice. Damn. I remember. I think they're probably going to bring some aspect of yeah. something that isn't racing into that game. Just knowing Nintendo. Hmm. Yeah. I like this. I can see both sides of this. Jams, well, you're our tiebreaker right now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what, do think, what do you think the word tour means though because they've never Ooh. used the word tour on a mario kart game uh honestly i think it's going to be some like dumb gimmicky thing where it's like kind of like a game board and you just kind of go around you put it Ooh. in a vr headset and you're playing mario Ooh. kart in real life they okay might do that. you're touring around well they said um March 2019? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the end of 2018 fiscal. This fiscal year or something, that's what they said. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, the thing for me is, which is going to be interesting, is because I'm pretty sure that when Pokemon Go came out, there was a Pokemon game shortly after that? Um, I think... No, I think X... X and Y came out the year before or something like that. Yeah. Or, I think maybe like the next year it was Moon or something. Because X and Y came out in 2013. Mm -hmm. And Pokemon Go came out in like 2016. And Sun and Moon came out in 2016. Yeah. I think so. But it's going to be interesting to see if like these mobile games, like if this Animal Crossing one, maybe we see an Animal Crossing this year. And if that's the trend, maybe we could see another Mario Kart, which I think it's kind of soon. Uh, what about what I just put into the chat about Zelda, the Zelda mobile app that was announced last year? I forgot about that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Did they say exactly. anything about it? They just said that it was going to be released after Animal Crossing in early 2018. I'm looking at the article now. Hmm. See, I hate anything mobile. It, I mean, I like Pokemon Go. <laughs> Spent way too much money on it, but... Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the very best that no one ever was. Um, <laughs> yes, Demonic, are you excited? To, did you even know about this Zelda mobile game? I didn't know about the Zelda. No? Well. I don't know. I feel like all these mobile games, it's really, really fleshed out. I mean, it kind of has to be. So, a Zelda mobile game... <clears throat> Mm. I don't know. Doesn't don't really appeal. It's to always me, hard so. to bring console games onto mobile, and you can't really nail it because they're meant for the the feel of the console. Yeah, I agree with that. Sometimes yeah. it's really hard to get the magic as well. Like this new Animal Crossing game, even though it's good, it doesn't capture the magic that's yeah. Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got bored of it in a second. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even try it just because I'm like I know this isn't gonna be it. Um, the interesting thing, though, is if you look at Pokemon Go... Uh, but Pokemon it's... Go and Mario Run did get the magic. Yeah, that's true. I, I actually really like Super Mario Run. I mean, it's like... I like Mario Run, that's it. It's really easy. But, like, if you look at these games, Pokemon Go is nothing like Pokemon. Super Mario Run is kind of like Mario, but, like, it's a runner, so it's not really a game. Yeah. So, like, Mario Kart could be something, but turn-based? No, get out of here. <laughs> I don't think I don't it's going to be turn-based. So. That's so stupid. <laughs> I actually like the VR idea. I think that might be a thing. Oh, yeah, I like well. that too. I was just joking, but... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Imagine like they troll all of us and it's like a Mario Kart like card game. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be... Like, it just makes sense. If you're making a racing game, you might as well make it VR supported at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's actually a pretty solid idea. Um, Joey, I wanted to get your uh, opinion on this next thing. All these ports coming out. We just talked about um, Mario Kart Deluxe. Just... Like, <laughs> What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Mario Kart. Are you talking about fucking Hello Kitty Cruisers again? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Mario Kart Deluxe. I'm it's like. 
D- stop. Do you really? So do I. I, no, really, I, really, I really do. I actually do have it pre-ordered. Me too. All right, guys. This was an awesome stream, and I will see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are just adding to it. But Joey, do you do you see any more ports coming out? We just had a bunch. I feel like my personal thing before I before I ask you is I think they might be done. I think this direct. Oh might've... no, they're not. No. Hell no. no. Are you serious? The, the, there's one game that there's a big Twitter discussion about it actually at the moment that I'm involved in. Fr- Mario 3D World. I think it's coming this Ooh. year. See, that excites me, but at the same time, it's going to get the same treatment as uh, DK Tropical Freeze, and I'm not paying 60 oh. bucks for that game. Yeah, and it's going to have the, a funky mode. I, I missed it. I missed that game, and it's the one Wii U game that I really want to play. Ooh, dude, that game is really good. Yeah. I got it and never played it. It's, it's honestly really good. Like, everyone that complains about, oh, it's not a 3D Mario game, like okay <laughs> it's still fun the only thing i don't like about it is that you have to get a certain number of stars to advance yeah, and like later in the game so you're stupid. like yeah oh no a mario game that has some difficulty in it <laughs> yeah, i don't right? like that i'm excited for the next 2d mario game it's never gonna happen it will no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen my face um demonic how did you like Odyssey? Did you play Odyssey? I don't have anything to play Odyssey. You don't have a Switch? Oh my god. Do you have a Wii U? Poor sap. I did. You did. Wii if you say PS4, awesome. you can just get out of here. <laughs> so, Patrick. What's up? PS4 is the best. I can't, I, c- I can't get you on live and I'm, I'm not talking without talking about the abomination that is Kirby. <laughs> You want to talk about some Kirby? I hate Kirby right now. Um, let's see. There was someone on Twitter posted like screenshots from Return to Dream World and uh, the new Kirby, and I gotta say, it looks pretty damn similar. So it uh, looks like a children's game. It it. <laughs> I'm not gonna win this battle. Um. I don't know, man. I like Kirby sometimes. It looks good. Like I definitely like the returning, uh, the combining powers thing. I just I don't to... like I... when. Sorry. Sorry. Right. You... Do you want me to go? Okay, yeah. me go. I must say the uh, the direct was it the direct with the new footage? It did actually make me think. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty cool. Graphically, it looks pretty good. I mean, for the style yeah. of the game. I just don't like how they release so many freaking Kirby games, dude. Relax. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I feel like so many other so many other franchises they can focus on. Yeah. Are you are you guys like like are you guys worried that there isn't really a get a Nintendo game to look forward to at the moment? No. Um. They're see, gonna surprise us with something. I'm, sure. I'm in the camp that I think that Pokemon or metroid might just come out this year i know i'm like you're insane i i am insane but you're insane (laughs) i don't know man i feel like the momentum that nintendo has right now and especially all the all the projections that they're oh we want to sell 20 million like switches and it's like they can't be doing that on mario tennis like they definitely have something don't get me started on mario tennis hey that game looks pure fire I agree. don't see the point in it. Uh, well, Ultra Smash was trash. Yeah. I there's a tennis game right now on the eShop, and I think it's seven pounds. And you just play that. It's only seven like, quid. That's not Mario. <laughs> exactly. So you're paying fifty. For, you're paying fifty three dollars for uh-huh. Mario. Yeah. It looks like and a PS still... one game though. And, and then, Waluigi. And, and... And then you say that the DLC for Pokemon is stupidly expensive. It is. It really is. It, it, it's bad. <laughs> I know what game you're talking about. It's literally called Tennis. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh, Ultra Smash. The one thing I will defend about that game is the mechanics were goddamn good. Sure. <laughs> sure they were, Pat. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it was a pretty game. It just kind of was a shell of a game. Yeah, because they were like, let's just try to get something out. 
that's what they did. They slapped something together in the studio. <laughs> so I have another big topic to. I'm surprised I didn't even make a video about this. Um, Nintendo Labo. We have to yeah. talk about this right now. Uh, I love the idea. You do. I actually really love. It. I have it pre-ordered. Uh, the variety wow. kit. The variety yeah that's the one i would mess around with a little bit and i got it for a uh, 10 pound off amazon because they did that like the 10 pound off over 50 pounds the other day oh nice so i got it for 10 pound less so that's even better Ooh. so that's like 40 dollars us e- so i got it for 49 pounds which is about 55 60 dollars okay sure. that's not uh i don't know man James, what do you think about it? Uh, don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> Did you pre-order I mean, it? No. I mean, it's for kids. Yeah. It looks interesting, but my girlfriend said she would kill me if I got it. So. Yeah. I definitely think it's gonna not going to be like a, a long time thing. I'm just going to play with it for like – I, I sound such like a kid right now. I'm going to play <laughs> with it for like a weekend and then that's it. Yeah. And then throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like exci- way too many games that I want to get. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, Dragon Quest Builders next Friday. I have it pre-ordered. Yeah, oh, Bobby's like that, super hyped over that. Uh, yeah. Demonic, I know you don't have a Switch, but what do you think about Labo? Well, <clears throat> it's something that only I think it can only work with you know so many games. Mm-hmm. It's not. I don't think there's much variety to it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot that they didn't really show in detail. Like, there was a camera that looked pretty cool. See, um, they, the they, they, showed thing, they showed things on the video that weren't in the Variety Pack 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there must be a Variety Pack 2 or a ToyCon 3. I love that name. <laughs> ToyCon. <laughs> it's brilliant. Toy-Con. They are just doing something. I mean, it comes out at 420, which which makes sense. Hell um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my thing about this is the uh, the actual quote unquote games that come with it, the software that comes with it. The mini games. That's good. That's what I'm waiting for the information about. Yeah, th- that's kind of something. I mean, they they uh, I guess they were doing some events <laughs> in uh, some YouTubers and like I think IGN covered it. They're starting to like release like more pictures and more things, but the games are something that I'm like. If you if you go to the website, you can zoom in to these games, um, like the fishing game. You can like see like a high quality image of like mm-hmm. the screen, and it literally looks like just I, I don't know. It just looks shitty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is for kids, but yeah. I just don't know if there's a lot of substance there. Yeah. yeah. There's, uh, what do you call it coming out in two weeks, isn't there? Um, Bayonetta 1 and 2. Oh, hell yeah. I'll definitely be getting that. It's funny because, like, the games that they're remaking, I mean, most of them, like, Hyrule Warriors and Bayonetta are both games that I missed out on on the Wii U. I, I've there heard a rumor that Hyrule Warriors is Japan exclusive. I don't think or so. Physical, or no, a physical? Offer right? physical? Oh, for physical? Oh, physical? They, I'd they be mad. Because they announced the Japan release date for Hyrule Warriors for the 23rd of March, but there's no word on the USA or UK release. Damn. That would be weird. <laughs> or is that just, yeah. like, I don't... They probably just haven't released, like, they're they're pretty slow at releasing things. Like, even on the US eShop, I think it was yesterday that they finally put up the Bayonetta pictures and stuff. I'm so, I'm so I'm so excited for Hyrule Warriors. Oh yeah, dude! That game yeah. right there. If anyone was uh, questioning the value of that game, that is worth it because you're getting everything. One hundred fifty-seven dollars so worth of game. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot of content. Holy crap! Because it's combining the Wii U and the 3DS versions, mm-hmm. which yeah. are both different. Yep. That's what they should do with Smash too. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like at this point, though, they should be just working on the next one. Yeah, that's true. And I um, think that's why it's called the definitive edition and not a like DX or something, because yeah, it's yeah, not a port. It's, done. 
it, it's not a port or anything. It's a c- combination of two games into one. Yeah, that's what I want to see more of. Because, like, even if you do have the Wii U version, you're getting the 3DS content and you're getting the portability. So, like, that alone, I feel like, is worth something. Um, so, I wanted to... Uh, Talk about probably like I don't know. Talk about one more thing, and then we'll talk about random shit if you want. Um, okay. So the top twenty eShop titles came out for the Wii U. <laughs> Not that anyone cares, but um, What's the, the Wii U. <laughs> the reason why I bring it up is all twenty, which I'm not really surprised, but all twenty of the titles were Virtual Console games. <sighs> which brings me to the next point: When the hell are we getting this for the Switch? <clears throat> I don't think we are. But you know what? This is going to sound really, really bad and really wrong. But with the amount of games and content that I have, I don't really care for it. Like, I'd love it if it came. Mm-hmm. But I've just got so much to do that, to be honest, it would just, I, if I was, I'd buy the games and not play them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think... I lost my thought. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might come out when they release like shortly after they release the uh i think the n64 classic is coming next i don't think game boy i i don't think it would make sense to release a game boy classic i mean there are great games on it but i don't really see them releasing a portable no i don't know i don't know i mean i don't really want to play original game boy games anyway but (laughs) that's just me um but i don't know there's something like appealing about playing some of these virtual console games portably just because i'm not one to like mod a psp or like mod mm-hmm. something you know like the rpgs that's what i really care about yeah talking about the n64 my get my game theory for the year is that we're gonna get a re-release of ocarina of time remastered this year because it's the 20th be anniversary that'd be insane yeah because they always do something for anniversaries, usually. Yeah. 20th anniversary had the best games, you know, one of the best games in history. That'd yeah. be really cool. What is it? The 20... 20th. Ooh. Of that... Ocarina of Time, specifically? Yeah. Okay. Oh. And there's that, um, who is it? Grezzo, the company that did um, uh, the, yeah, the remakes yeah, yeah. and all the remasters and stuff. They were hiring for people with Unreal Engine experience. Oh. Mm-hmm. Damn. I actually wouldn't mind something like a Link to the Past one, like a top-down one for once. Phantom Hourglass HD. Ooh, they yes. <laughs> they think that's coming, though, don't they? There's a new uh, top-down one coming, isn't there? Because it got uh, leaked, supposedly. Yeah. I don't know why everyone is in such a rush to get the next Zelda game. <laughs> I feel like yeah. Breath of the Wild is going to last me like another 20 years. <laughs> There's just so much to do in it. It's the best game. I don't want a mainstream Zelda game for a while. And, I, you know, that's my favorite franchise, but I've had my Zelda fix. Yeah. But how I did don't you, mind these filler ones. How did you feel about that game, though? Because, like, it really wasn't... I mean, it, it's kind of cliche to talk about Breath of the Wild, but, like, it's not really, like, any Zelda game that we've ever had, yet it's so well-received, even by, like, hardcore yes. Zelda games. Yeah, or Zelda yeah. fans. The one, the one thing I was disappointed with, even though I really enjoyed it, I really enjoyed the DLC pack too. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Nintendo lied to us. Okay. Because they said we're going to give you a new story, and it wasn't really a story; it was just like background information. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It seemed kind of rushed. Yeah, I still enjoyed it. Yeah. But I, I feel like they lied to us a little tiny bit there. Mm-hmm. James, what do you think overall about that game? That beautiful masterpiece. Uh, I love it. Yeah. That's my final thought. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to do a review of that game, but... Oh, my God. There are some yeah, games that, like, are way too big for me to review. And, like, even if yeah. I did a review for them, I would just be kicking myself watching it because I would miss something. Like, I know I would miss something. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I think one. that's that's something really well Zelda. Usually their games are short, something yeah. you know it doesn't take that long, maybe 24 hours of gameplay. Yeah, and this was well. such a different yet well done 
uh, game Zelda, you know, produced. But that's it's interesting you say that because Breath of the Wild could literally be the shortest Zelda ever if you wanted. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's just so much. 40 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think they're yeah, speed running crazy. it. Like that's that. Well, you could also beat Ocarina of Time in like a second. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Dude. Breath of the Wild. Until, I until what's that? Christmas. Until Christmas, Breath of the Wild was my favorite game on the Switch. But ever since I started playing Xenoblade, man. Yeah, that's oh, another that giant that I gotta play. Xenoblade. Jams, have you played that? Oh yeah, <laughs> I played. I played on the train to go to school because I never have time at home. Okay. Like with humility, I will. I will admit that that is the best game on the Switch right now. It's really good. Damn, I played. Uh, I played like an hour, and I just said to myself, "I'm like, I gotta put this down. Like, <laughs> this is gonna take my <laughs> life over." It's amazing, yeah. but it draws you in. It need you. You have it draws you in on time, and you just need to put so much time into it. Yeah, and so much energy as well. Yeah, I couldn't beat a boss for like a solid week, and I had to grind. I'm stuck. On, I'm stuck on the end of chapter seven at the moment. Yeah. I'm Did you like beat it, James? Or maybe no. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I only know a handful of people that beat it. I used to be able to play RPGs for hours on end, but something like I don't know something. Changed. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it. Um, this is the game I'm playing at the moment. I've been playing it for months straight now, and I'm gonna <laughs> beat it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Joey, I know that you're into a lot of indie games. Did you uh, did you pass on Celeste, or did you pick it up? I watched some walkthroughs of it, and I honestly don't see the big deal of it. If it ever goes on sale, I'll get it, but mm -hmm. it doesn't look... I personally don't like the art style. Yep. Which kind of puts me off the game, but apparently IGN gave it a 10 out of 10, and that's pretty rare. Yeah, that yeah. would... Jams, have you you picked it up? Nope. Guys, you're killing me. You're killing me. Um, I, I am not rich, down. Pat. <laughs> hey, I'm not rich either. Um, I just don't eat. I have, to, I have to spend my money on where Wii U, Wii U games. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking eighty dollars. Like the crudes, all right. <laughs> How much did you pay for that? Uh, I had a twenty-five dollar off coupon at GameStop so I got it for like 15 it's like <laughs> I don't know 40 bucks I never see it anywhere so I had to pick it up right away damn I I picked up a good gem on the eShop this week it's oh, yeah? called a, it's a puzzle game it's like a little bit like checkers mixed with like a, like a leveling up system mm -hmm. it's called Tactical Mind and it was only £2.50 it's actually been keeping me pretty busy during my breaks and stuff wow. oh damn like I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out there and say it's the best game in the world, but it's definitely for two pound fifty. It was it's been such a good game. Yeah, I actually uh, I made a European eShop account because I got a review code, but the guy only had European codes. So I was like, oh, whatever. Oh. <laughs> and I was looking at your uh, your eShop. It's pretty similar, but I'm like looking for games. Like, are there any games that you guys? I mean, I don't know if you would know. I'm looking for, like, EU exclusives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think there was one or two. I remember there being one the other, the other week, but I can't remember what it was called. Yep. America has all the exclusives, though. So. Yeah, we're dope. In Japan. Like you, guys got, you guys got, like, Binding of Isaac in the first, like, on launch day, and we had to wait until November. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Holy crap. And then um... I was getting really excited for it, and everybody was like, yeah, I've already played it. <laughs> <laughs> America rocks. <laughs> but uh, I did pick up Celeste, and I got to say, God damn, God damn, You finished God it damn. today, didn't you? I did. I finished it today. It, it actually took me probably like six hours, which oh, that uh, that's pretty good. I mean, it is 20 bucks, that, though. How much? That's, that's really bad for 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, there is replayability. If you like speedrunning, I mean... There was also like a uh, an epilogue that opened up that I haven't played yet, so it looks like there's more content in there. But um, it the thing about Celeste, I don't think it really was. Uh, it's not a good game to show and to like sell people on, especially now because there's so many pixel art games. But uh, yeah, the story for me, the characters, it was it was an enjoyable game. It was cute. <laughs> See, I'm under the impression I I have like this thing with games. 
I think a game is worth its money if the amount you paid is the amount of hours that the game has. Mm, that's not bad. I can see that. So $10 mm. every 10 hours. 10 hours. And that's a, that, that marks the game at value for money, I think. Shit, well... I can, I can see and that. I, and I think that obviously there's exceptions to the rule. Mm -hmm. But overall, that that's how I kind of rate games. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, because, well, I mean, if you're saying it that way, then uh, Odyssey wasn't worth it. I, I literally only put like 20, 20 hours in. You, you know my opinion on Odyssey. Yeah. Uh, me, me, I think it's the, the British of it. Me and, um, <laughs> me and Nasty both have very strong opinions on that <laughs> game. I like the game. I think it's really, really like just imaginative and look just looks great. But yeah, I never, it was... ever, ever, ever put it back into my Switch. I yeah. had a great time with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought like it was just way too easy. Which I, I don't know. Had a great time with it. <laughs> That's a good idea, Demonic. Super Mario sixty four mobile. No, oh, it's yeah. a bad idea. I hate mobile games. I mean, I wouldn't you know, buy it, but... <laughs> do you think that they'd ever... Do you think Nintendo would ever move into putting their uh, stuff onto... Like Sega has, onto mobile? Oh, like the Sega Forever or whatever? Mm -hmm. Um... Forever. I don't know. I think they're going to see how Mario Kart works out. I think that these four... I mean, because they have Fire Emblem too, which I heard has a big following as well. But I don't know anything about that I game. I play Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's I used to play that good. game a lot. Yeah, I, I heard it like a, makes you spend money. Like, <laughs> there's a big event going on at the moment. Oh damn! Yeah, I have no idea. But apparently that has a big following too. So I don't know. I could see it, but then again, I feel like just give me that virtual console, boy. I don't know if they're gonna do that. So the online service. Do you think that's gonna that's going to be when they drop it? Are they going to introduce something like that? I don't even I think, know. Anymore. I don't think so. I, 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 maybe. Here's one thing for you. So, the online services are dropping in September, mm -hmm. which means that they're probably going to release it with a multiplayer game mm -hmm. to sell it. Mm, that could be something. I could see that. Because why would you drop it without a multiplayer game? Yeah, Hello Kitty Cruises online. <laughs> <laughs> hello kitty confirmed for smash um so i've been saying i said this a couple times though i think we're at the point now where they should give us every single nes game to me okay. nes games don't have value anymore you mean nintendo made because that would yeah yeah every, nintendo made every single one of them would be hard to do <laughs> I actually think we can say for certain that we're getting a big game in September. Yeah, you th you think it's Smash? Everyone wants Smash. I don't, I, I, I don't think it'll be Smash. I think it'll be Animal Crossing with multiplayer features. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't know if that'll sell. But yeah, Animal Crossing. Cross online Animal Crossing no, is. I mean, like online services. I don't think that'll sell. Online services. Oh. But Animal Crossing is like Nintendo's third biggest franchise. Yeah, it is huge, and I fucking love it. And I would <laughs> definitely buy online for it, but I don't know if everyone else would. Yeah, I mean, well, we we know the price, right? It's twenty bucks a uh, twenty bucks a year. Yeah. Well, that's what they said. It's yeah. So cheap. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. That's dirt cheap. I'm I'm like one of the few that's like, okay, I'm I, I can wait. I mean, it's free right now, so <laughs> why rush yeah. it? Um, I don't mind paying twenty quid a year, twenty pounds a a year. It's just cheap. I'm paying what forty yeah. for my Xbox right now. Yeah, I'm paying way too much for my stupid PlayStation right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, luckily, I only have a Switch, so we're good. Whatever. I don't even play online games on my Xbox, and I have it. <laughs> I don't play online games on PS4, and I have. It. I mean, Xbox is kind of worth it though because they give you some pretty good games for free. So I haven't. I, I don't. I don't even know about PS4, so I can't even. <laughs> oh well, maybe you should research. <laughs> it's a uh, Nintendo talk. I don't know. It's Sony talk, I think. 
So what, what do you guys think about the new Xbox games? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of jealous of some Xbox games, to be honest. Sea of Thieves. Like what? Oh, come on. Sea of Thieves, looks, sea of Thieves should be a Nintendo game. Sea of Thieves. Yeah, it should um, be. Cuphead. I know that's that's already out, but like, I want that game badly. Nothing else. Oh, that's a good list. <laughs> that's it. That's all we got. <laughs> um, I, have, I, have, I have to say, and I'm going to upset Sean right now, but the Xbox, I, it was a mistake me buying it. Was it really? Yeah, I, it's just it's completely worthless. <laughs> oh damn! I've Shots played fired. Like two, in like for six months, I've played like two games on it. Yeah, but you had fun with like, oh yeah. Well, I mean, you had fun with Halo. Yeah, I liked Halo the second time. Yep. The Xbox is only like worth it for like two games. So. Uh, I mean, like Xbox rare, is solid. I've had an Xbox rare, forever. Their replay, which is like twenty million games in one. Yeah. Put it put it this way: in ten months on Switch, I have fifty nine games. In six months on the Xbox, I have three games, and one of them came free. Yeah. But I think it's also... I think we're kind of all underestimating portability a little bit, because yeah. that's kind of something that obviously is different from yeah. from Xbox. And, like, even me, I'm, like, a traditional sit-on-my-couch, like, play it on the TV, and, like... <clears throat> Even I'm playing these games like portably. I mean, I, I refuse to play like Breath of the Wild portably, but see, so, yeah, see, so, yeah, I play all my games portably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's usually how I play because I only have time see, on the train to play. See, games. I gr- I grew up. My mom had, you know, my mom couldn't really afford big consoles, so I had a Game Boy, I had a mm-hmm. DS, I had a 3DS. So I've always yeah. been used to handheld gaming. Yeah. Yeah, I started with the uh, mm-hmm. Game Boy Color, lime green, sexy as hell. <laughs> I had, pro- I, I had, I had the brick. I, I had the brick first. I had oh, the original God. Game Boy. The OG one. Yeah. Damn. With Pokemon Red. Uh, I had the Game Boy Color purple, with Pokemon Red. <laughs> and then I got Pokemon Yellow with um, the Game Boy Color. Oh yeah, such a good game. I got uh, Pokemon Silver. Mm. Shout out to uh, Demonic Gummy for th- thank you for coming on, man. Um, potentially okay. perfect is in the chat, dude. If you want to join up, man, do it, do it, do it, do it. Like uh, I tell you what, I wish I wish I had my 3DS at the moment for Pokemon Crystal. I actually kind of want to buy uh, a 3DS Pokemon again. Crystal. Yes, I love Pokemon Crystal. There's some po- really cheap deals on these 2D XLs right now. Yeah. I uh, I'm gonna go out and say that Pokemon Crystal is the best Pokemon game ever. I'm just gonna. I agree. Oh, I definitely uh, agree. Definitely agree. I'd have to go with Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Oh, okay. That, that could, mean, but Crystal. Is just... Fighting words right there. Delapo, welcome, welcome. Okay, settle this. What's the best Pokemon game? Um, best Pokemon game by far. Pokemon Pinball, Ruby Sapphire, <laughs> Fighting. I, I don't dude, care. It's a beautiful I, I game. Actually, I actually thought it was a good game, actually. Pokemon Troze. With the Rumble Pack? <laughs> yeah, I had that. I had that. No, that game was like high key lit. Pokemon Puzzle League. Okay, Best get ball. off. I think my favorite for real, though, was probably Pokemon XD. Okay. Um, just Ooh, because, like, all right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just, oh, I love the idea of stealing Pokemon. Something I always um, wanted to do. I actually yeah, I really I hope they game. bring one of those games back. Yeah, I so would good. love that. That'd be great. But I think that they should make another Pokemon Snap. Yeah, but people wasn't there plans on that? Who's that for? What demographic? <laughs> Me. <is that> for? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I feel like that train has left because the Wii U would that have been train. perfect. Pokemon yeah. Snap train. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, uh, they blew it. Pokemon Stadium needs to come back. That is a goddamn game. Silence. Yeah, Utter silence. See, the problem, though, is that what Pokemon Stadium was, in essence, was just a way for us to see 3D models of the Pokemon. Now they all have 3D models, so it's not yeah. like it would be... Outside of, like, the announcer, that'd be kind of cool. To see. Yeah. You know, so, you know what? Bad you know, idea game I'm su- <laughs> the, the game I'm surprised isn't on Switch. Yep. <laughs> the game I'm surprised isn't on Switch at the moment. Yeah, is Harvest Moon. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I buy every Harvest Moon game, and I'm yeah, just like, me too. Yeah. For some going? reason, I played that shit all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's so like... funny because, like, we got, um, oh, what is this? Pixelated farming game. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Star 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, been... why would, it, why? I'm just going to wait for my Harvest Moon. Yeah, okay. literally. Because we're getting, like, a oh, Harvest, Star Harvest Star Moon Star. game, like, twice a year on the 3DS. There's been yeah. no mention of one for the Switch yet. Stardew was good. I love Stardew. I thought they did announce Harvest Moon. I thought they did too, but I haven't, I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah. All right. Hear me out, though. <laughs> I'm still on this Pokemon Stadium thing. Let, let's make it happen. Okay, okay. Let's see what you got. Um, so in the original games, you could play your um, what was it like? Your your handheld your games team. on yeah. the TV yeah, with the transfer pack. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm about to transfer the pack. Imagine if, like, you could use like your My Nintendo thing to play like your 3DS games on your TV. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, We're nah. thinking now. <laughs> I need to. Buy, I need to buy 3DS again. That's a day one for sure. If that happens, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be pulling a C and D with that. Definitely. So I heard you talking about um, Virtual Console a little earlier. Yep. Um. And talking about like you know all the NES games, what how how did you think you were how did you think they were going to structure the online? Guys, the link I just it's dropped. It's going to be like twenty bucks. Real fast, link I just but, dropped. Like, Nintendo Switch version of Harvest Moon is coming out. Oh, oh it is. Damn. What's the day? It's called the Light of Hope. I don't know. It's on Wikipedia. <laughs> that sounds so. super Harvest Moony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Light of Hope. Um. So. I would like to see Nintendo get a little bit more traditional with, uh, I say traditional, but just more common with the uh, the online. Give us free games, like give us one or two a month. I mean, you can't really expect too much because like 20 bucks a year is literally like yeah. dirt cheap. But at the same time, it would be nice to, to be like, hey, here's the entire Nintendo NES library. Like go play. Like Yeah. If only, right? That ga- that game's already out on um, Windows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't emulate, man. No, 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 no. I mean Harvest Moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's out already. It looks it looks horrible. So it does look bad. It looks terrible. <laughs> oh, it looks I'm gonna get it. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. Oh, I wanted it to be good so bad. Oh no. Uh, something that I am pumped for, but I've been hearing mixed things about, is uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Dude, mm. right? I want Zoo Tycoon, but yeah, Roller Coaster will hold me over. <laughs> See, yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if this is my age, but I grew up with um, theme park. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're you're a little bit of a caveman. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a little bit older than you guys, aren't I? Dude, I'm older than you. Am I? I'm 25. Are you? Oh, that, oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm 22. Well, theme park is the bomb. Everybody talks about Roller Coaster oh, Tycoon. Roller Coaster and Tycoon theme park. is definitely better because I played both of them. Mona, what did they say was wrong with it, though? Like, why are you hearing, like, some. Well, I heard it was going to be more of the mobile port. Oh. Which would be awful. <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys ever play um, Theme Park for the DS? No. It's see, it DS? sounds familiar. I played Zoo Tycoon for the DS. <laughs> Theme Park for the DS is actually a hidden gem on a DS, I think. Ooh. Damn. I it must was really good. So since they're bringing DS games over anyways with that uh, Square Enix game, what would you like to see them put on the Switch from there? The hmm. DS days. DS. Is, there any, is there any more Hello Kitty games? <laughs> Hello Kitty. <laughs> well, Delapo, you said it. Uh, I forgot where you said it. it Might have been in one of your videos, but you said <laughs> Nintendo Dogs. Yes. Why? Oh my God, that would yeah. sell so much. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Please, I would love that. Oh my God, I would plus never cats. This <laughs> uh, no, you can plus, dogs plus like iguanas or something. <laughs> plus something iguanas. Oh I want to see the super sexist Super Princess Peach come back. Yeah, just come to my channel. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, Nintendogs, that's like a no-brainer, though. Although, like, would you use touchscreen? It's normally like a stylus. The Switch have a microphone. Well, it has gyroscopes. Yeah, you can go, come here, dog, and it'll come. Does it have a microphone? (laughs) That's what I'm wondering. 
Either way, that was to. annoying anyways. Like the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's probably like one of the worst parts of it. It's like everyone's Sit. looking at you in public. Sit. Like- <laughs> Shout out to all the dogs that haven't been taken care of since 07. Oh, my God. My poor oh, well. dogs. <laughs> Jeez. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Delapo, I asked these dudes, but what do you think about the port situation? The situation? <laughs> I'm, like, hyping it up. What do you think about the ports? <laughs> oh, Dude, oh my goodness, these ports, bro. I'm, I'm over it. I'm sorry. But it's not even so much the ports themselves. We actually had a discussion about this on the um, on the chatterbox. But like, mm-hmm. what what we were talking about with remasters and ports and how people handle those is that Sony handles them in a much different fashion than Nintendo does. And I think it's for different reasons. So over on Sony's yeah, side, Nintendo's you get a games remaster are good. of a game, you'll get $40. <laughs> so no, but what I'm saying is like the Crash Insane trilogy, that was a good game. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. value. Forty dollars. Then you got Shadow of the Colossus. Once again, great game. Yeah, yeah but wasn't great. there some? It wasn't there some like really negative points about the remaster of Crash Bandicoot. I heard some really bad things about it. I've only I've heard, heard some good really things. Bad things about the Doom version. I've heard mixed like, things. Like, the Switch version of Doom. It's just, it's, it, it's. I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard any bad things about it. But what I'm saying in general is that um, it's, it's a price point issue with me. Yeah. Um, I know why they do it. Like especially mm-hmm. with multi-plats. Like you don't want to give off the idea that this is the handheld version or this is the watered down version. So in theory, it makes sense to charge sixty dollars so that they think it's you know a comparable mm-hmm. version of the game. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on stream, but has anybody of you guys watched um, Arlo's video on ports? No. no. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. You guys should watch that. That was, re- I, think, I think, the reasons that he puts are really, are, you know, proper points. Um, I you agree know. and disagree with some of the stuff he said. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Delapo, for me too, it's it's about pricing. I feel like at this point... I mean, Nintendo's going to sell their games for full price anyway, but it would be really nice to have, like, Breath of the Wild be 60 and Kirby be 40. Like, that's just... Yeah. So, I don't, so tell me how it works in America, cause, because in England, so we have the price that Nintendo sets out, so Nintendo will say um, the, full, the game is £50, but mm-hmm. usually um, at launch it's about 35 uh, You from other retailers. Oh, it's, it's less when it first comes out for you guys? Yeah. How, oh. does, so, how does that how does that work for you guys? <laughs> you lucky little bastard. It comes out for sixty dollars. <laughs> so you guys literally have to pay a full price. It's yeah. full price. I mean like Amazon will be less and then like if you're like Best Buy rewards and then or something. You have to pay the yeah, t- yeah. sales tax. Because it's yeah. like right now, Skyrim on Amazon is forty pounds, sometimes thirty eight pounds, whereas full price is fifty quid. Yeah, it's uh Pretty much, if you want a new game, it comes out to like sixty four dollars. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, depending on your sales tax, which is why I can never justify, and no one's convinced me of this yet, why Tropical Freeze is full price. I I don't get it. I like, really don't because I haven't played it yet, and I'm really excited. <laughs> and dude, you're in for a game because that game is hard as shit. <laughs> it's so good though. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not for you. It's for the people who've never had a Wii U. Oh, yeah. be quiet. That's what I've heard. So <laughs> so people say that, but that game, when it was first released, I'm pretty sure it came out at $50. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're ba- you're paying for funky mode. Okay. Oh, Fun- that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that took a lot of programming. Okay. Oh, my the God. Lighting is a little different now. It's However, like, Bayonetta does look a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. Bayonetta yeah. does look better. Come Bayonetta, on, I wish was 50, like maybe take like 10 bucks off. Um, Hyrule Warriors is honestly the only one that I'm okay with. Yeah, just because of how much content you're getting. Yeah. Like yeah, you're I getting mean, no, the one that they hit you with that DLC pack. <laughs> yeah. The but, one I'm really looking forward to of all of them is has got to be Hello Kitty Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually really excited for that. <laughs> Yo, you need to reach out to them and like be the spokesperson. <laughs> I will. <laughs> James, I will play that with you. <laughs> if it has online, online, talk to me. Oh, it's got to. Come on. Yeah, if it to. doesn't, that'd be a travesty. I'll, have to, I'll add you on Switch, Jams, and we'll play it. <laughs> all right. If it has online, you let me know, and we're all going to party up on that. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm about but, uh, to it. 
like Mario Kart, I could even see being sixty because that game's like brilliant. Um, Isn't it like? Wasn't it like the best selling game of January somewhere? It has just about the same amount of sales as Breath of the Wild does. <laughs> Where, where was it? I think it might have been the UK where it was the best-selling Nintendo game of, of January. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, that game... And, and it's, you know, six months down the line. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Last topic that we'll talk about. Third-party games. Um. Which ones do you, do you guys see coming to the Switch this year? I will start with Dilapo. Third party, I mean, it's been said to death, uh, Grand Theft Auto, definitely coming. Um, I don't think that's coming. No? I, there have been too many so. rumblings for it not to I, come. I, I don't, I, no, the, the, I think if they could, they would, but I don't think the system could run it. Really? I mean, it yeah. ran on the 360. But the thing is, is that the the memory, the capacitive, it's different types of memory. Mm-hmm. And because of like in the city of how many like things that they have to render in, I don't think they could run it. Hmm. It'd be interesting to uh, to know the sales of La Noir. Yeah, I bought that game. I bought it. Yeah, didn't play it. Didn't like it. <laughs> I played it and I liked it in two thousand whenever it came out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah two thousand like fourteen. Although Skyrim Skyrim's a day one, like you had to buy that game. Oh yeah. dude. See absolutely. Skyrim works because it works on the Switch because there's lots of dead space. It's like there's you know there's only trees and stuff and then it's like load so like the trees are like loading areas to the castles and stuff where you go and then you go inside which means it doesn't have to render as much. Whereas in Grand Theft Auto, just think it has to render that city. That's true. All the people walking about, all the cars, all the. Ta- I don't know. I, I'm. I've. What I'm saying is like I've just I've I've heard enough stuff that it gives me. Um, I hope it comes out. If I, it comes, I yeah. Come. If it comes out, it's a day one purchase for me. Uh, yeah. See, I'm surprised you guys like. I'm surprised you guys bought um. Skyrim because. I love Skyrim. You guys have like PS4s and shit. <laughs> I've bought Skyrim like 20 times by now, I guess. I know, right? <laughs> uh, my dude, Kevin is in the chat. What's up, dude? And uh, Tony, what up, what up? Hi, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all through high school, I would always do that. <laughs> uh, Jams, what about you, man? Uh, third party games? Yep. Um, I mean... It'll probably never happen, but Dragon Fighters would be Dragon Ball Fighters mm-hmm. would be amazing. Yeah. So I and, did uh, hear from a little birdie that that is confirmed. You didn't hear oh, it from me though. Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the credit when that actually like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, and uh, Final Fantasy 15 would be nice, but uh, yeah, right. Oh um, God, no. <laughs> and Kingdom Hearts three would be, f- and the coll- HD collections that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, but I doubt it also. Joey, what about you, man? Um, I, I've never played it, but it looked really cool. And I think if it came to Switch, I'd play it. Fortnite. Ooh, that is a oh, rumor yes. right now. I've heard of that. Yeah, coming. Yeah. I, I think that'll be really good. I think it was uh, the guys on Planet Nintendo Podcast. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. They were reporting on it. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I don't know. But, sorry, I don't listen stuff. to that. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard some MOBA, some MOBAs are coming. I know there's one going to China, but someone was talking about maybe um, League of Legends. Um, oh, that'd be an interesting one to see. I don't get yeah. League of Legends, but I do think that Paladins might make an appearance. Okay, because I don't, I don't know that we're getting Overwatch. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that if we were to get Overwatch, Paladins would either be not too far behind or not too far before. Do, do any of you guys play League of Legends? I do. No, so, so let me get this straight. So, so there's like what two maps, and you just replay them two maps over okay, and over and over almost, and over there again. There are three maps, sir. No. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, one extra one, and you just I don't know, replay I them. It's the whole map thing is kind of like Call of Duty, where like we know there are twelve maps, but everybody only picks like three. 
you know it's kind of like that that mentality like it's not the maps it's what you do in the maps and how like yeah. even though you've replayed the same map it's like mario kart you it's like mario kart not the same. Meadows. yeah and like smash bros like you can play smash everybody final destination final every destination. freaking match fox only yeah. <laughs> Still have fun yeah but at least for their games you get options mm-hmm. if you want it to yeah you get options in league i suppose at least league is free yeah, yeah. I would, uh, does anyone play Smite anymore? That would be a cool game on the Switch. No. Nope. That would, yeah. Well, that would run beautifully. <laughs> yeah, Smite would be cool. I think that we're going to get the boring ones. Like, I think Call of Duty comes over. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see if we get, I know this isn't really, like, not a lot of people care about this, but it'd be interesting to see if, like, 2K and, like, the sports games come back. Because that kind of shows, like, the sales are good enough to oh, bring dude. a second one I back. I thought the sales I got was, uh, it did well enough. I, I think we're definitely seeing 2019. Yeah. Gotta. We gotta. Yeah. It's going to be at interesting, least, though. At least with um, 2K. I don't know about FIFA, but... Yeah, I FIFA. FIFA yeah. Well in Japan. yeah. Joey, uh, did FIFA do well where you are? Because, like, everyone was going crazy about that at first. Um, it's, that's kind of funny, actually. So it didn't sell very well on the Switch. But I absolutely hate FIFA. And of all my <laughs> friends, because I bought the, my Xbox on that on the on the day it was released, I was my foot. I was the first one of us to buy FIFA. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, never played it. No, did any of you guys know what Bastion is? Yes. Bastion. Yes. What is that? Come on, man. It's like a little isometric, um, <laughs> little adventure game thing, right? Bastion. I don't, I don't know. Kevin just said it would be cool on Switch. <laughs> it's such a good game. It's so quirky and fun. It's difficult it. as well. It, I don't know. Maybe like an announcement or something like that. Um, but I heard. I, I think Pokemon's coming this year. I think. Yeah. Um, because mm. why? Why say you're gonna get twenty thousand? I, I know it's not third party, but I think if we can get a confirmation of Pokemon or something like that, or like maybe if other third parties know about Pokemon hitting. Yep. You're gonna hear crazy announcements, um, because the more switches you have out there, the more likely you know people are gonna buy your game. Um, that's how Western developers look at it, and that's what they want to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if the second anyone hears any announcement about Pokemon, number one, people are gonna start buying switches preemptively because you yeah. know once that Pokemon drops, you're not finding one. Um, yeah, that's what I. That's why I bring up the uh, the 2K thing because like if you look at the Wii U. We got those sports games. We got like mm-hmm. good third party support the first year, and then it was like a wasteland. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know. That that's a sign for me that third parties are doing well. But I don't know. I could see a game like Smite, like something that's like decently popular, but like could become like crazy. Wow. Like I feel like Rocket League is kind of that right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have an interesting question. Okay. So, so more of a discussion. So at the moment. Um, we get we're seeing a, a trend of free mobile games coming to the Switch for money, for you know for a five dollar price. What's everybody's opinion on that? Mm. Um, you know, there's been some good um, mobile ports that I didn't even know were mobile games, um, mm. like Morphite. I think is a fantastic game. Um, Riptide Renegade is another cool game. So I think if done well, like I wouldn't even know, like unless someone told so, me. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm talking specifically about free ones, not ones that cost money. So like Oceanhorn, that costs money on the phone and on the Switch. Whereas like, so for example, Jules is bringing Totes, which is a completely free game. Yep. Is can is that justified? You know, the five dollar price tag I think for a free on game. What <laughs> Yeah, it seems like when they do bring mobile games over, like everything is included, which like it's kind of obvious to do that. But at the same time, like, I don't know, some of these mobile games, I just don't <laughs> want the eShop to become like trash. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it doesn't need to be Steam. That's the thing. I, I really I would hate it if it became Steam. And sometimes when I look at the mobile ports, I'm like, ah, it's starting to look like Steam. Ooh, Kevin said Plants vs. Zombies. Yes. That'd be cool. I think, I think a Sims game back in. would be good from EA. Yep. Some sort of Sims game would be. Unreal. Sims for, Sims would be cool. Yeah, Sims would be really cool. Did, did, did anybody? You guys are all old. Do you remember uh, Sims busting out? 
Oh, of course I do. Yes. Oh my god. Man. Dude, I Sims would be cool. GameCube. Another one that I wanted to come over was Okami. Like it was on the Wii. Yeah, that was really. Yeah. It was really annoying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you didn't get that. The same thing with the Disney Afternoon Collection. Oh, no. my God. Oh my I want God. that so Why? bad. Why? Why not? Jeez. Yeah, that was kind of a head scratcher. Um, Real quick, before we uh, before we finish, this is our new podcast, by the way, guys. You just don't know it. We're like, this I is forgot, our podcast. I forgot ah. that we were live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, You guys excited for Mega Man at all? I don't know. This is so random. I just oh, thought of Mega Man. Yes. Why is it coming? I'm gonna play half of it and then never touch it again. I'm so excited. <laughs> Is it coming for Switch? Yeah, the new one. Yeah, oh, I can't wait. About it. I'm so excited. Like a brand new one, and then they're bringing oh, brand new one. Yeah, Mega Man 11. Wow. Mega Man 11. Uh, there is a trailer out. It looks all right. It kind of looks um. What's that game that was terrible? Uh, Mighty Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> it looks really That's similar to that. Game. So that was a bold move right there. But um, I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, I, I loved Mega Man as a kid. Dude, I think you'd be into it. It looks kind of cool. I love Mega Man, so I'm gonna definitely get it. All right, dudes. Well, uh, this will be live on the channel, so you can watch it back. Um, Delapo, Jams, Joey, thank you for sticking around. No and uh, yeah, you should join join in the future, man. I'll I'll probably be doing this not every week, but every like couple weeks. So okay, yeah. I'm down. Delapo, he was on the first one, so he's a pro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dudes. I will talk to you later, and have a good one. All right. See ya. See ya.